Hi guys, I'm Jojo Astro Barbie and this is Angel and we send you lots of love. Welcome to your weekly horoscope in this beginning of a very exciting year ahead. This week the sun is in the sun of Capricorn. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday little goats, mountain climbers. We love you. The moon will travel in the signs of Taurus, Gemini, Cancer, Leo and, and definitely a big full moon in Cancer on Thursday. Wow, it will bring a lot of light and a lot of truth into the air. This is a time, my friends, to be very alert, very aware, and to be on our toes. A lot of stuff is going on to teach us a lot of lessons. Sunday, Mercury, planet of communication, will be going frontwards. Yes, so we should expect, trust me, a big bang week. Badam! A lot of things going on, a lot of fireworks, especially on Wednesday and Thursday. I call Thursday actually a tour, T-H-O-R, day. Why? Because originally Thursday was named after Thor, hammer-wielding Norse god of the lightnings and the thunder. So this coming Thursday, my friends, just after the crazy Wednesday, Let's expect some uh, very big fireworks and a lot of awakening moments for all of us, wondering, oh my God, what's going to happen now? It will be shocking, especially in the political world. And also on Thursday, Mercury, that is in optimistic Sagittarius, will enter practical committed Capricorn, bringing us a serious reality check. Because Mercury in Sagittarius, it's like hope in the air. When it goes to Capricorn, whoa, near Pluto, opposing a full moon in Cancer, well, it's really a time to truly, truly to be compassionate and also to be um, very much investing in righteousness, in the truth, in the, but to be realistic and see what we could do to be the best we could be as a person, as a country. And on the same day, Thursday, we will have a spectacular, what you call something very rare, happens twice a year, a cardinal grand cross between chaotic sun close to, in crisis, Pluto, planet of political and leaders, a close to truth sourcing Mercury in Capricorn, and also with the exaggerating Jupiter increasing the bad stuff even more. And Uranus planet of shock continuing to make waves in our personal and collective lives. But it's always for the better good. Remember, everything grows to the light. The best way to navigate these very challenging and very interesting and exciting explosive energies is to stop, observe, take a breath, pause, remain emotionally detached because something is growing in the manure there's a flower there's something beautiful growing in all of this and then refocus regroup and just continue to work on being the best we could be all of this crazy stuff is definitely for us to take a serious look on the state of our personal and collective life for the next three weeks, that's what we have to do. It will be fascinating. The good news, well, the whole week ends nicely. There's a beautiful conjunction, good aspect, between loving Venus and Neptune. It's a high hierarchy, actually, of Venus in the sign of Pisces, his own sign that is always protecting us, that should soften the edges a little bit and bring some sense of relief and also hope especially for the righteous. For people who are on the wrong side of history, well, they're gonna start feeling some resistance and some opposition. But it's all good at the end. Remember, there's a great eclipse on the 21st of August, 2017, that will bring an ending to all of this for the better good of all, Promise, I promise you. So let me start with you, Capricorn. Happy birthday to you. I love you, Capricorn. Isn't it an odd thing, all those things happening, all those uh, activities, Mercury and all these things in your sign and Pluto, it's actually very good. But this week, uh, it's funny how some casual people or friends in your life can sort of uh, catch your eye one day 
and somehow you start talking and suddenly you realize how exactly you have a lot in common. So this, this, this week is like a reconnection with special people and sort of appreciating their presence in your life. How could you possibly have known them this long and never noticed that they had all those gifts to give you? Well, this week is the time. It just wasn't the right time and now it is. And nothing ever happens until the conditions in life are right. Remember that? And the powerful full moon in your relationship sector helps you to appreciate these people in your life and also to take care of obligations and create a solid base and foundation for your future. Real estate favored, making a fresh start in career or in love is definitely favored. So move ahead, move ahead, Capricorns, climb the new mountain on the weekend, joy awaits, like feeling proud of yourself. Your magical color, yellow, lucky numbers, 4, 48, Aquarius, be daring, experiment and take risk. Start this new wonderful year by doing things in a different way. The powerful moon in your work sector get you ready to really live new experiences and expand all the territory in career and experiment also new stuff and meeting new people. Relationships will be very important this week, whatever they are platonic or professional, or romantic or family, it's all a learning experience for you. Some new original and unusual people are about to enter your life that will change your life. The heavens have arranged for all of you to meet well, to make the world a better place. You will find out who and why probably the beginning of this week and the next three weeks. On the weekend, it's very, very important to just be the best you could be and to be an inspiration for other people because they see you as a role model. Your magical color, mauve, lucky numbers, 523. Pisces, you are in a wonderful mood. Actually, Venus and Neptune, your ruler that is in your sign, especially after the second part of the week, really put you in a good mood. Get ready for unusual circumstances and encounters with original creative people that inspire you. And what you don't expect is exactly what is your own agenda. Enjoy the company and all the wonderful new people or experiences that are coming your way this week. It's all for the purpose of learning and you becoming the best you can be. The powerful full moon also in your creative sector bring you hope. A good time to start implementing your New Year's resolutions. You are in a new, totally different space right now in your life. So go for it and let go of the past and shoot for the future because the stars are blessing you these days. In career, you are able to pull some kind of rabbit out of the hat. Yow! On the weekend, somehow tenderness will come your way. Your magical color pink, lucky number 6 and 42. Aries, the powerful full moon in your home sector bring you deep feelings and questions about your personal life, even in your love life. Be patient, understanding, and really look at it from the heart, not from the mind. Every now and then, the universe gives us each a run of good luck. Yours, my dear, is starting now, just in time to make 2017 a year to remember. Don't waste one single minute taking action now is the right thing to do. Excitement and look at it as an extraordinary adventure. Expect breakthroughs and miracles coming your way. On the weekend, you get the bottom line of some kind of relationship. You just, you're, you know what's happening about the relationship in a good way. Your magical color, purple, like in number six and 23. Taurus, the powerful full moon in your communication sector bring a very exciting start of the year. It's almost surreal. You attract VIPs, important people that really could help you pull the rabbit out of the hat in your career, especially. And it gives you a lot of hope for 2017. You are feeling this week, even with all the craziest thing happening, that you are on top of your game in finances, in career, and even in your personal life. Check out check out the facts with a trusted friend and keep your cards close to your chest it's very important to be mysterious don't give it all express also your feelings with your loved ones they need to hear that you love them on the weekend it's very sweet like honey 
Enjoy! Yum, yum, yum! Your magical color yellow, lucky numbers, 5, 13. Gemini's, what you love more than anything else is really to be free and appreciated. And this week, you will. The powerful full moon in your financial sector bring you good news and hope and popularity and career take the lead. You're definitely very efficient and confident and you have the ability to lead. And this, all the initiatives you will take this week within another two, three weeks will have rewards. Get ready for a fresh start and lots and lots of luck in the coming year, especially if you are on the right side of history. If you're not, well, you will be blown away. In love, helping others bring you joy. In career, do things one at a time with integrity, crystallize intention, and you will accomplish miracles. And remember, if you are on the wrong side of history, it's never too late to do the right thing. We're talking to the political people, especially. On the weekend, it's so much fun. People really applaud you. Just enjoy your magical color orange, lucky numbers, three and 56. Cancer, Cancer, this special week with the powerful full moon in your sign brings awareness and the enthusiasm to pursue your dreams with a lot of confidence. There could be some ups and downs, unexpected surprises, and a necessity, a need to make some serious changes in your life routine, and it's all good. The week slows sort of like up and down a little bit, but by the end of the week after Thursday, you're sort of getting back into the flow and it feels great. You attract also the affection, the attention, and the respect of the people around you. You're sort of an ambassador of happiness. Get up early every day and push on your dreams because things are really blowing in your way. You have good fortune. On the weekend, your imagination also works overtime. Focus on your goals. Great things are on the way for you. Believe in miracles. Your magical color red, lucky numbers, six and 42. Leos, get ready for a very enlightening kind of week. Get the powerful moon in your spiritual sector, bring you inspiration, popularity, deep thinking, as some kind of like, like a breakthrough from the past. You're able to go into the future and finally see clearly now. I could see clearly now, the rain is gone. Yes, anyone who's known you sees you are definitely different. You are a star, you're shining. You really are the master of your destiny and you're doing all the right thing. You also have the chance this week to express your gifts to your audience, to your court. You may need some little power naps at times because you will be busy and handling a lot of responsibilities. You're taking charge and somehow doing really good stuff because you are following your heart, not your mind. So be proud of yourself. Whatever you're doing right now, you're moving in a new direction towards success and freedom. On the weekend, a loved one has a surprise for you. Your magical color gold, lucky numbers, eight and 26. Virgos, the powerful full moon in your social sector puts you on a pedestal and in a good mood. Wow, you're just like schluck. The whole energy is different and it feels so much better. This week's energy may go up and down, but in a good way. It's a kangaroo kind of um, week that allows you to sort of discover new mountains. In career, research, studies, uh, getting ready to accomplish a lot of stuff is really favored. In social life, you also shine. In love, you learn to receive. That is very good because on the weekend, you will be spoiled and pampered. So when people want to give you, you say, thank you, I deserve it, I'm worthy. Your magical color blue, lucky numbers, nine and 18, ta-da. Libra, sign of beauty and peace. On this special week, you could be a bit torn between being responsible and dutiful or doing what you want to do. If you give in to your own needs, the powerful full moon in your ca career sector, may actually bring a lot of good results. You may experience some uh, shock from the entourage, from things around you, but it's not for your life personally. It's other people or the society or the news or uh, people around you that may actually get you to be thinking about your life this week. It's a perfect time for great big changes and to show the world the new extraordinary assertive you. 
love, love and also from the heart, luck also from other people come your way. On the weekend, express your gratitude. Your magical color, like lucky like numbers, one and ten, ta-da! Scorpio, it will start the week in a way that is very funny with a lot of order and somehow you know you're putting the the, the gas pedal to really attack 2017 in a new enthusiastic way. Sort of, it's important to keep like uh, your eyes open, your ears open, and to see what people are doing so you can adjust to it. And you have now what you call a new, newly acquired superpowers and all those things happening in Capricorn, especially Pluto, and all, which give you the ability to really force in charmingly, elegantly, gracefully, anything, anybody to get what you want. People can say no to you this week because you're powerful. You are in charge. Somehow use your intellectual superiority and experience and shrewdness to fight for justice and fairness for others and you will find your own. The powerful moon in your karmic sector brings healing, creativity, and lots of sex appeal. In career and in love, you get answers about your highest destiny. Enjoy, listen to your soul. On the weekend, passion is in the air. Your magical color, fuchsia, lucky numbers, 356. Sagittarius, the powerful full moon in your shared resources sector, brings joie de vivre and optimism. You can benefit from other people's luck and ideas or help. Your fondness of partying, getting together with friends and new peoples entering your life, bring excitement and laughter all week. And even with all the things happening, you are in a good place. Career doing better and better than expected. This is a perfect time to create a solid, solid base for your future at work. Know who you are, what you want, and the universe will take care of the details. Change it, go for the good. Think grandioso, spectacular, no teeny witty winny, biggie, biggie, biggie. On the weekend, people think you're great. Are you great? Yes, you're great, believe it. Your magical color red, lucky numbers, three and 36. And now here's this wizard affirmation of this week. A wonderful friend of mine that I've met lately that is a queen, her name is Philomena. She shared with me something very beautiful that her husband wrote, and I really want to share it with you this special week. Never, never look back. Open your eyes. Stretch your arms to all the beauty before you. That's a beautiful saying, don't you think so? I love you guys, so really have fun with what's happening this week because it's an eye-opener and a game-changer. But at the end of the day, it will all make us better, the country, the people, the world. And it's just part of this beautiful rose that grows in manure and the rose is the manure that's been embraced. Love you guys. Be good now.